The Attorney General of the Federation and Justice Minister Abaka Malami San has stated that it is not his responsibility to advise on monetary policies. At also reports that the Supreme Court had on Friday ruled that the old 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira notes remain as legal tender until December 31st, 2023. Following the ruling, the federal government and the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, have kept mute on the judgment refusing to advise Nigerians on the next line of action. Malami could not be reached for comment on the Supreme Court ruling yesterday. Contacted by the nation, his media aide, Dr. Uma Gwandu, said Malami's brief excluded advice on monetary policy. He urged the media to educate the public that his roles did not include advising on monetary policy issues. Gwandu said it is important that the educational role of the mass media be exercised in this direction. The media, is an the media is an important tool for education and enlightenment. Let us use the media to inform the general public that the functions of the Office of Attorney General do not include monetary policy regulation. When his attention was drawn to a recent example where the AGF was categorical on the federal government disposition to the February 8th interim injunction issued by the Supreme Court, Gwandu declined comments. Dear Satum, what is your reaction to this? Uh, please uh, drop your reaction by the comment section and your voice be loud and clear and uh, uh, do it to spread the report across all those platforms, okay? We shall be taking the comment section now. State in place. Having some network issues, stay tuned as we take the comment section. Supreme Court ruling AGF Malami distances self from CBN uh, swap policy. Austin Shekri here says, uh, hmm, I'm just laughing. What is the work of the Attorney General of the Federation? I can understand that Nigerians mostly. Okay, mostly those elected and those political appointees do not want this country to move forward. It is a pity and a disgrace for the Attorney General to say he is not supposed to advise the federal government on issue of monetary policies. The work of the Attorney General of the Federation is to advise the government and its agencies on legal implications arising from government and its agencies on any activities or action the governments and its agencies may take when carrying out these actions by the government and its agencies. Every plans or program of any government and its agencies has legal implications. This were the Attorney General. Okay, I come again with this, please. Say so every plans or program of of any government and its agencies has legal implications. This is where the Attorney General comes in to advise the President or its organs the legal implication of such program that would be carried out by the government. If there is a problem on such program concerning law when the matter goes to court, like the one we have now in our design issue the attorney general of the federal government has to be blamed because he didn't advise the president Buhari and the government agent CBN well on the legal implication of policies of the Naira redesign. How can the attorney general of the federation distance himself from the from the issue. That shows his incompetence in that office. Because Barry is not a lawyer, he may not know the legal aspect of the narrow redesign. That is why the Attorney General 
is also a minister of justice seeks to advise the president legally on on, on policies the government want to embark on okay still taking more rations um, there's a reply to Shekri, uh, Austin Shekri comment here, and this is from uh, Labwa Dayo Pangwat, and he says a fantastic response is laughable for AJF to distance himself from this issue. What is his work in that office? What is his work in that office? George Osuji says uh, the AJF and the federal government have done the best in terms of the Nara swap, hence. Any Supreme Court that thinks otherwise can do their own best. Okay. Jibrin Musa here did comment saying uh, shame and disgrace on enemies of the masses. They killed economy for the next president and they claim they did not they did it for the economy. Cause they will remain for making life difficult. For Nigerian masses, Leonard here says uh, it's your duty to advise the president to obey Supreme Court judgment. Suleiman Abdul Rahim says uh, carry this your big head, make I hear something, Joe, useless man to the highest order. Olukayo de a a de. B he says uh, except that somebody in the defendant or respondent click is invoking willfully misinterpreted law to justify brigadage prevarication and abs abscurantism kuje prison. Hmm. Okay. Then uh, Jago says a uh, season of denials. Season of denials. Bayo says Malami Lule is going into oblivion politically. But when a judgment is passed against federal government, you must be consigned. Okay, stay tuned as we take other reactions, please. Okay. This is from Temitukpe Adesoji saying that this man must be J. One of the problems we are having here is this country, please. Can anyone borrow me gun? Make I go kill this idiot. Fat is not easy. There's really suffering. How can you withdraw 1000 naira and they will charge you 400 naira for 1000? In fact, I must say that Nigerians have lost money regarding this uh, narrow design policy. In fact, everyone is facing this problem. It's not easy. Fat. Fat. May God. Save Nigeria. This all can take for Nathan and God bless. Thank you so much. Please spread this report. Share it to all, all news platforms. If you see this report on WhatsApp, all you need to do is to highlight it. Yes, highlight. After highlight, you forward it to any group of your choice. Thanks so much. And bye for now, please. Okay.